And welcome back again. Let me venture deeper. And scan the ghost weed. Look at this one. Ghost weed. Grows exclusively in deep waters where its pale pigmentation is visible on the fewest wavelengths. That looks really cool, actually. Gabe's feather. Oh my god. It's a treasure trove of information. This plant grows almost exclusively in deeper waters, where its hand-like leaves have evolved to filter sediment from the environment. It is likely dependent on the excretions of fauna populating the waters above and around it. Ow! Man, this scares the hell out of me. You know what? Fuck all of y'all. Wait, what is it pulling? Okay. Whoa! Oh, okay, man, that looked way bigger on my screen for a second. I may equip my stasis rifle here. I'm getting bad vibes from this area. Maybe also my air bladder, just in case I need to go up quick. Flashlight is almost out of battery. That's bad. That's bad. Dury. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, light stick, I will equip it. My... Ah, oh, my battery's shit. Pathfinder tool could be useful here. Repair tool, not that useful, it seems. Let me remove the battery from this. And put it inside my flashlight. Remove this and equip a Pathfinder tool. And the light stick. Let me remove this. Ah, it's so useful though, isn't it? Here's a question. What if I equip this and I just... Can I sort of use it from the inventory here without having it down here? You know, I can drop it. Oh no. Did I lose it? Reginald! This ecological biome matches seven of the nine preconditions for stimulating terror in humans. Yeah, I can imagine that. Blood oil. The hell is that? Red oil field. Pustule contains blood vine seeds, may be processed into benzene. Shit. Alrighty. I think I just lost my light stick. I think it clipped through the ground. Damn it. That's bad. Can be deployed by hand or by submarine. Hmm. Let me remove this for now. It's, it fills quite a lot. It's very filling in my inventory. Oh my god. I have to leave my boat behind. In fact, I can go a little deeper with the boat. Just a bit. Yeah, let me use it to light up the environment here. Oh, look at that. It's like a... It's like a luminescent kelp forest. Give me that. Am I even going? I'm not going the right way. Hold on. I have an idea. I'm so sorry. I said I would explore this, but I did promise to explore the wreck first. So I will put down a beacon. Let's see how this even works. Uh... Edit beacon name. Oh, uh, let, let me call it um, Luminescent Forest. Ow! Get off me, you bastard! I love the way he just punches it. He doesn't grab it and try to pull it off, he punches it in the face. <laughs> okay, I'm coming back for this area. This seems super dangerous and I'm so scared. I want to go explore the wreck first, which is that way.
Oh my god, look at this place. Wait a minute. Did I come from here? That's the vent. Oh shit, maybe I do have to go down here actually. I think I have to go down into this luminescent forest and then from down there go towards the habitat. Oh shit, it's a journey. It is a journey, all right. Okay, fine. No fear. No fear! Oh my god. Let me save the game. Okay. Oh my god, it's such an uncomfortable feeling going deep like this. Oh, look at all this. Blood vine. Are these the ones producing the little blood cells? Oh god! The music. This species of kelp grows in spare copses. Copses? What does that mean? I don't recognize that word. Deep on the ocean floor. And provides shelter for an array of distinct fauna and megafauna. That sounds cool. Survival at these depths is challenging. And the life forms which make their homes here have developed unusual coping mechanisms. Including a bleaching of skin pigment, dependency on naturally occurring metals and oils to adjust to temperature and pressure, and in some cases even electrical defense mechanisms. Oh my god, the base! Oh. The vibrant red oils which seep from the blood vine coagulate into semi-hard pustules which frequently fall loose and form a vital foodstuff for the local ecosystem or are otherwise reabsorbed into the ground over time. Oh my god. Co oh! A huge copper ore thingy. Oh, I don't like this. I don't think I'm going the right way. I'm going further away from the habitat. Oh! Oh god. No, look. Definitely this is not the right way. I will come back. I'm not going this way right now. I'm too scared. <laughs> I don't like it. Man, below 300 meters. That's terror. 7 out of 9? Make it 9 out of 9. It's even fulfilling uh, one of those uh, parts. That shouldn't be fulfilled, just because it's me. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, let me try and go this way. I have an idea now. Maybe it's actually just this way. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Oh god. Hold on. Life pod 19. Signal location uploaded to the PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Integrating new PDA data. Yo, 19. Second Officer Keen's crew lock. To all crew, if you're reading this, then you have followed the automatic distress signal broadcast by this LifeBot's onboard computer, contrary to my orders. Wrong! I found it by accident. I have been forced to evacuate. Your orders are to disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous coordinates at the nearest landmass. I hope to see you there. The nearest landmass! Do you mean the island that I spotted up there? Yo, Keen. 
But they're all dead, right? I know that for a fact. Hold on. Another time capsule. Oh, there's another PDA right there. Fish! There are so many wonderful and colorful species of aquatic creatures on this planet. I just wanted to share some of them with you. Please don't eat the fish. Maybe the peeper, though. Okay. A red eye eye? Spinefish? Spadefish? Reginald. Thanks, brother. An oculus? Wait, I think I've seen this one before. I saw it in the cave, no? Man, I'm already running out of inventory space. So here's my plan. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> Let me actually just release a bunch of these Reginals back into the water. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm gonna have to cook some of you and eat you. 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 Yeah, and you. Oh, yeah. Nom, 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 nom. Red eye eye? I kind of want to keep it. Okay. I guess I'll leave this grab trap here. It's taking up a lot of inventory space. Into Voice log. Keens. Aerogel. And advanced construction. It's so hard not to pick everything up I see. It's so hard. Voice log. This is Keen. Life pod detached to okay, planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached co- Hold on. Sorry. Keen, this is Aurora. Come in. This is Keen. Life pod detached to okay, planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the oh, long range. Oh, man. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Captain? My God. Second officer. The captain was badass. He, w he did go down with the ship. I do remember reading on the Aurora that he was going to take manual control of, of the flying of the ship. So he wanted to keep the ship as intact as possible so that the second officer could use the ship to contact rescue services. So Keen, the second officer, detached in the life pod, life pod 19, and he discovered a landmass. The one I saw when I went up. They're your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. Yeah. Rip, Captain. Cool. Man, th that looks cool, doesn't it? The graph trap. Look at that. It looks like one of those electrical... Uh, you know, the one where they have sparks flying in every direction and you can put your hand on top of the, uh, of the sphere? And it creates, like, these electrical uh, connections. I don't know what it's called. If you know, let me know in the comments. I have literally no idea what to call that. Uh, man. Where was it again? Down there. How do I get down there? Not from here, it seems. Okay. Let me grab you again. All right, fishies. Oh my god, it even collects the sh the outcrops. Yo. I'm loving the graph trap. Hot damn. Okay. It's not here. Let me go this way instead. That's where I was. 
Also, I'm running out of battery here. Aurora rendezvous point. Dude, this place is so hard to find. Ow. Oh, maybe it's here. Nope. Get out. That has to be it. This is the place. This is the place. Um, yeah, let me leave my ship there. Or maybe it's not the place. Fuck! Damn, son. I don't... Okay. Change of plans. I will investigate the Degasi later. I cannot for the life of me find my way there and I don't have any power on this. Let's head back a bit. I'm also uh, full on inventory. Let's head back as much as I can on 2% power level. Hmm. And then I need to figure out how to recharge this thing. Look at these things here. Rock formations. You're going to run out of battery now, aren't you? And get as far as... Oh, wait a minute. I'm losing... That's it. You're done. How do I recharge you? Is there somewhere I can do something? Whoa! Wait, what's happening? Emergency power only. Oxygen production right. Offline. Oh, no, that's, sorry, that's not what I want to do. Power cell! Oh, that's what it's for, of course. I should have brought the power cell. Damn it. Okay. I'm coming back for you. Just need to grab a power cell. Hmm. Actually makes total sense, you know? Big battery for a sea moth. Oh man, it feels so good to be back in shallow water. Well, I say shallow, but you know. I'm kind of rethinking my idea of building a base deep down below. Ah, oh, that's scary. But also exciting. Okay. So, let me grab a... Not a battery. Let me go down here. Also, I think these are okay. I think I can store them like this. That's the one I need. And what else do I want to do? What's in here? Bunch of minerals and stuff. Let me just put it in there. Gel sacks, sure. Maybe in this one I can put some fish. Uh, grab a couple batteries. More fish in there. Leave an empty... Oh, I, I can make a power cell recharger, I think. I should charge batteries in here. Um, like that. Let me change a bunch of batteries. And this one. Oh my god, the, the reef bags are singing. Laser cutter. 80%. Sure. And then the repair tool is empty. I did have another battery, didn't I? In fact, I had two full ones. So let me exchange this one for a full one and this one. There we go. And then I fill this up with some batteries. Boop. And doop. And also whoop. Nice. Now I leave. I leave. Okay. 
power cell in hand. Let's -a go. Back to the Seamoth. I'm not leaving it there. No way, Jose. Maybe I'll go to the Aurora Rendezvous point. No. You know what? It's time to make a base. A proper base. Somewhere else. The question is where? Maybe actually... I should make a staging point. You know, a little staging point. Uh, at the border where I cannot go any deeper with my Seamoth anyways. So around the 300 meter mark. Maybe 250 meters. That's where I want to make a base. Uh, there we go! Fully recharged. And also soon fully repaired. I'm taking good care of my equipment. Nice. Okay. What is the plan? The plan is to go... Towards the Degazi habitat and build a staging area. Staging grounds. But for that, I need a bunch of uh, materials. Ow! Man, the... I'm actually losing a lot of... Uh, HP. Whenever I crash into these things. That's how I lose all my HP, man. Crashing into fish. It's a bird strike on the water. Except the bird is a fish and my plane is a... Submarine. Yeah. And the propeller is just a very smooth metal surface. Anyway, let me just note down what ingredients I need to make a base. I need to make a staging area. And in the staging area, I do want to try to make a bunch of the new components of the base that I have not yet made. For example, uh, let me grab the little builder tool. Do I have it somewhere? Maybe in the other locker? Builder tool. Habitat builder. And let me equip it. Habitat builder. I want to make... Where is it? The moon pool. So for that I need titanium ingots times two. Let me make that. I have a bunch of titanium. That's going to be easy. One thing at a time here. Let me just do this. And then we go titanium ingot. Also frees up a lot of inventory space. Ten of them becomes one. I need one more. I think I had some down here. One more. And there's also a bunch in here, actually. Let me just grab a bunch of these raw materials. Because I will need it. Let's make another one. I want to make a moon pool at my staging area. And what's next? Lubricant. That required... What was it? A creep line seed cluster. Let me quickly go grab it. I'm doing one thing at a time here. So I don't confuse myself, you know? It's easy to get overwhelmed in this game. Especially for someone like me. So let's just take things one at a time. There should be a kelp forest on the way back to the life pot. That's why I'm going this way. I should really look at the ocean floor while I'm doing this in case I spot something interesting. Here we go. So let me just check. Do I need lubricant for anything else that I intend to build? Now that I'm here. I want to make a moon pool. I want to make a multi-purpose room, so titanium. Let me just write it on my notepad here. Six titanium. And then I have two ingots. And lubricant. And two lead. Okay. And then I also want to make a bunch of these, right? So just... More titanium. Titanium. Let's say 10 titanium. That should be fine. And I also need a hatch, so I need quartz. 
times. Let's say two, just to be sure. And then we need a, a way to make energy. And because I'm building the base at 250 meters as a staging area, I'm not sure I can use solar panels. Oh, the music is so good. Thermal plant. That's a possibility. But there was also another way. Building the moon pool to upgrade docked vehicles. Oh my god, yes. Oh. Bioreactor. Yes, this is what I want to make. Compost organic matter into electrical energy. Yeah, that sounds great. So I need three titanium for that. And I need two silver. Because that's a wiring kit. And another lubricant. Good thing I checked. And then I will also need lockers. A fabricator, so table coral sample and gold. So gold, table sample, <laughs> sample of a table. And I think that's a good start. I can always make more later. This is a good start. And maybe a bunch of glass. Glass. Cool. That is awesome. I guess I could also just take a bunch of things with me that I have in my current base. I could have multiple bases, you know? One, two. Let me grab two of those. And then we go back. I wonder if I can rename the cameras. You know? Oh, God. I don't even know what I crashed into. I didn't see it. Emergency... Wait, what? Emergency power only. God, I love these fucking beacons. I need to place them everywhere. Every time I find something interesting, I should just carry one or two with me at any time. You know, I see something interesting, I plop one down. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen oh no! Offline. Shit! I cannot craft anything. Oh no. Let me take these off. I think it's using too much power. Shit. Um, give me that battery. Let me put him back here. Battery. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So what do I do now? I guess I just wait until daylight again. In the meantime, I can go collect some coral samples. Table coral. I needed that. Should be close to the shallows. Soon need to drink something. God, look at all these gasopods. It's like a party here. Wait, what's all this? There's a cave here. Oh, it's just a small cave. Okay, I want to try this now. Hello. Fuck you. <laughs> That's awesome. I like that. I like that. Okay, table coral. That's what I was here for. Uh, how did that look again? I completely forget. It was like... What did it look like? Table... Hold on. Hmm. Shit, I completely forgot where I find table coral. This is the coral tube. Wasn't it near the shallows? I seem to remember that. Um, this one. Cor no, coral shell. This one? Table coral. Yes. Let me grab my knife and slice up a couple of those. Nice. Then I need to go back. Oh, the music is so good, man. I can't say that enough. Power restored. Perfect timing.
Man, this game has a vibe, doesn't it? What a vibe. Dude, I'm so excited. I have all these plans to build these things, and I'm planning the resources I need, and... Oh, I love it. I just love it so much. Okay. Let's make... Uh, what was I making? Lubricant. Also, how much power does this take? Let me notice. Eight? It takes five power whenever I click on this. Reinforced dive suit? Right, I, I discovered that. What else did I discover? Hmm. I haven't used this yet, have I? Advanced wiring kit? Um. You know what? I should just do... Like this. I want to build that. Oh, this is way easier. I'm so dumb. Multi-purpose room. And let's say I want to build... Uh, where is it? One of these. One of these. Maybe one of these. Foundation. Not sure exactly how that's going to work out. Man, this sounds cool as hell. Multi-purpose room glass dome. Observatory. Yeah, man. I want to make that. Maybe I, I want to make another scanner room. Large room? Plasti ingot? Plasteel ingot. Hold on. Basic materials, right? Lithium. Aha! Okay, well, for now, let me store this and that and this. This is just a transport run. Batteries go in. Let me grab some... Quartz. And we had a bunch of uh, titanium down here, no? Titanium. Oh, only one. Nice. Shit. This is not telling me... So I can make all of this now, but... Maybe not all of it, right? So I just stock up on this. We should be fine. We should be fine now. And I also wanted to make the fabricator. Fabricator. Oh, and the bioreactor, of course. And fabricator. Max allowed number. Okay. That remo removes some. Maybe just some of the rooms. Or the corridors. Where were they? Damn it. God, I wish I could search in this mode. Okay, bioreactor, wiring kit. Fabricator. So gold and silver. Silver and some gold. Uh, hold on. Wiring kit. And some gold. I think I'm about done here. Drink some water. Exit base. Save the game. And let's go. Now we scout for a location. It's time to do a location scout. As they say in the movie business. Hmm. So, what I'm thinking, flat land, that's what I need. The flatter, the better. 250 meters needs to be flat and... Hold on, there's already this super close here. Luminescent forest right next to my base? Let me just note that down, because I didn't bring a, a beacon. Luminescent forest close to base. Uh, 250 meters or something. 
and we are right now no, so south 250 meters south okay good noted no that's not where i wanted to go i wanted to go down here propose the gassy habitat i'm sorry people fishies i mean i'm so sorry it is what it is Oh yeah, this looks good already. Not that flat, but... What was that sound? It sounded like electricity. Oh man. See, this is what I'm talking about. It looks kind of flat, right? And we're close to a potential exploration area. This is the, sh the the crash that I did, um, investigated before. We're at 200 meters now. I kind of want to go a little deeper. In fact, sunlight is, sunlight is still reaching us, so maybe I can use the solar panels. Ooh. Yo, what is this area? Alien? Alien structures? Hold on. Oh god, I'm at 280 meters. Okay. Let me build my base somewhere here. Maybe up there next... Nah, I don't want to build next to the aliens. That's scary. What is a good spot? Maybe along this ridge here. Could this be a nice location? What the hell is that? Huh. Membrane tree. Yeah, membrane tree. This entity defies neat categorization. It consists of more than one coral species working in tandem to create an insulated microcosm enclosed within a translucent membrane. Found exclusively growing on basalt rock in the Grand Reefs, the homeostatic conditions within are considerably warmer and more dense with microbial life than the outside environment. And the bright purple fauna inside will likely die off quickly if exposed. That is amazing. A whole microcosm inside of this membrane it's like a little mini forest dude what if I, our world is just a microcosm what if the entire universe is just a microcosm inside a big membrane at the bottom of an ocean in the fourth dimension <laughs> imagine that I kind of don't want to build here now this seems significant Actually, never mind. There's another one right here. Uh, oh my god, look how deep this is! I can't even see the ocean floor. Oh my god. Uh, okay, let, let me try. Let me try. What if I build here? Will I actually destroy the plant or can I somehow still keep it? I need to preserve this. This is significant. I guess I will make a multi-purpose room oh I can make it higher up so that it doesn't disrupt the plant right let's say I make it like I want to make it in the middle something like that look at that the little plant on the bottom that's actually nice yeah I like I like the look of this what a cool little location. And let me build a... What is the next step? Oh, I'm... Moon pool. Vehicle docking bay with high energy and structural requirements. Yeah, that's the thing. I need energy for that. I can make it here or I can make it there? Really? I can rotate it? I can make it... It's just sort of floating. Is this healthy? Is this going to break off? Hmm. Fuck it. I'm doing it. 
Let's see what happens. Minus 5.7 to... Ooh, yeah, so that's the cost. That is the cost, huh? Hold on, moon pool, so... Oh my god, this is so cool! Oxygen production offline. Oh! Oh my god! After weeks without human contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. It's an inanimate fucking object! <laughs> oh my god! What do you mean psychological discomfort? I've never felt better! I love 4546B, man. I want to stay here forever. Never ever do I want to leave. Uh, hold on. I'm sorry. What did I just do? Let me build something more. I could make a scanner room here as well. Uh, I do need a hatch. Oh, maybe I don't. I can come from beneath here. Yeah. But maybe I do need a hatch, you know? Maybe I want to get in on this side. Why does it create this weird indentation in it? Can I just make a hatch directly on it? Observatory. Large room glass dome. I kind of want to make that. What if I make a little glass connection here? That looks cool. Oh my god, it's starting to look like something, doesn't it? Uh... Oh! Oh my god, I can build like this? Hold on, this changes everything. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh. Oh, shit, okay. Maybe I built like this. Another room here. Hmm. Let me deconstruct this. And build this instead. Because then I can make a nice entrance here. And I can connect something on the left. An observatory, maybe. Or you know what? I want to build the observatory on top. Can I do that? Oh, it's small. It's really small. Smaller than I thought. Oh, I can make it here, I guess. But I don't want to do that. In fact, maybe I'll make another... Maybe I'll make a scanner room here, you know? I need titanium. I should be able to find just a bit of titanium here, right? Titanium. I still have my Seamoth there, so I can scan it and find it. Nice, that's one. Lead, sure. What is that? Is that a potential titanium? Copper, I like it. What is that? Spiked horn grass. That looks cool. While it shares a close genetic similarity with blood grass, huh? This species has evolved to house its root system in rigid horn shaped enclosures. To ward off uh, pre pre predation, maybe? Red word. I think I discovered that before. I mean, it does protect the stems, right? Get off me! You little bastard. Man, those are actually annoying. Titanium. I got everything I need. Man, look at... Look at the base, how it looks in the distance. With the lights. Yeah, 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 yeah. 30 seconds. It's all good. But hold on. I also wanted to build a generator in there. So, do I have enough for that right now? I do. I can see in the, in the, in the uh, right side. So, let me go inside. And if I remember correctly, it needed to be built in the center here, no? 
It said that at some point. Uh, generator. Thermal plant. Water filter. Bioreactor. Yeah. Let's make a bioreactor. A reliable power source is a critical step towards self-sufficiency. Consider keeping a photo journal of your achievements to motivate you in times of despair. Okay, that's actually not a bad idea. How do I take pictures again? Uh, photo manager. F11. Hey, hey! Oh yeah. I should be taking pictures. Make a photo album. Look at this beauty. Nice. Okay then. Uh... But wait! So... How do I use this then? Inactive. Organic matter? How much energy do I get from one fish? Power restored. All primary systems online. Ten. Oh my god, look at this area. This is so fucking cool. It's just like the abyss. Oh, I love it. Oh, I can park my sea moth in here, right? Hold on. Excitement overload right now. Why is this destroyed? Hold on, it's smoking. Is it just all the fish I've rammed into? It feels bad. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> this is great! Oh! Dude, this, this game is getting better and better every time I play it, I swear. It's still generating electricity! Dude, this one fish? Well, I guess if you... Okay. Theoretically, you can extract a hell of a lot of energy from any matter. E equals mc squared. If you just do the calculation there, you get a lot of energy out of that. But I don't think it's doing fusion. Who knows? Let me put in a bunch of fish. Power for days. It's still powering. Let's just fill it up. What about table coral samples? Oh, <gasps> that works too. Oh shit, I needed that, didn't I? Nice, I can still make it. Um, okay. So I come in here. This is my multi-room, man. I, I need to have things in here. Let me put a... Fabricator right there. I want to put something else right here as well. Maybe I'll put a locker or... What could I put there? Large room partition door. Huh? Large room partition? Hmm. A radio. This is my new permanent base, man. I love this base so much already. Battery charger. You know what? I should just disassemble my other base. Get all the raw materials and rebuild it over here. That's the play, man. Look at this. Creating energy for me. Unpin all of that shit. Okay. I have to end the episode here because I am... Bursting! I need to take a piss real bad and also uh, go to the store, grab some snacks, grab an energy drink, and then I'll be back for more. God damn, I'm so excited about this game right now. Okay, see you in the next episode. Goodbye.